the excitement is very real so the steam deck is coming out in five days now and people are wondering what you know games are going to run on it and a lot of people are wondering what emulators are going to run on it so we're going to talk about rpcs3 so just a day ago the rpcs3 twitter you know account posted are you looking for some console exclusive games to test on low power pc such as a steam deck here are a few recommendations and screenshots from 45 what mobile zen 3 4 core 8 thread at 4.4 gigahertz and integrated renoir igpu so the rpcs3 team is right now testing games on similar powered machines so they may have a Steam Deck. They may not have a Steam Deck. They did actually last year reach out to you know Valve and say if, you can, if they can you know get them one, that'd be great. Otherwise, they're gonna have to wait till they actually get the hardware. And when it launches, they they did have one on order, but like the Dolphin team has one, so I, I'm assuming they may have one as well. But they definitely are testing games on the power machine, and they are getting some you know cool performance so as we can see right here it's pretty hard to see so let's actually go on to twitter rpcs3 and here we go so this was the actual image so this asura's raf was running at 30 frames per second according to this image and what else have we got? We've got Demon Souls, the one that a lot of people are going to be interested in. Another one at 30 frames per second. And this is at 60 frames per second. Dragon God 3 and Rain is at 30 frames per second. So, based on some hardware that is similar to the Steam Deck, RPCS3 has some games running at more than playable frame rates, which is fantastic. And what people are, you know, I think forgetting is Steam Deck is going to be more optimized for that hardware and so is the OS and inevitably so will the application that run on it even if they haven't been optimized that's my personal opinion and once the RPCS3 and other emulators like PCSX2, Dolphin etc get their hands on the Steam Deck they'll be able to optimize it completely because my prediction is Steam Deck's going to go one of two ways it's either going to be a huge success I'm going to change, you know, gaming forever, or it's going to be a flop like the Steam Box. And I think it's going to be the former. It is going to be a huge runaway success. If the frame rates and, you know, the performance is good for a lot of titles, the price point that they're coming in at, because there have been other systems that have come in at more than a thousand pound. This is coming out about three, four hundred pound. And it's if it beats the performance of those systems which is looking like it will and more optimized plus they've learned from the steam boxes they've learned from steam os on linux and all the support on linux and doing games for like 20 years they've also learned from again i know it's a different hardware but valve index the input you know everything they've learned from all of that experience so yeah i think it's gonna be the format i think it's gonna be a runaway success and the games and emulators it's gonna be like how apple when they release a new piece of hardware and like the m1 for example companies like adobe and whatnot clamor to you know make their applications perform better on the hardware same gonna be with the emulators and games our pcs3 will you know i predict start if not doing a version that you know is better on you know dedicated version for steam deck they'll at least upgrade the existing current master branch to have you know more steam deck optimization and this could be the thing that allows us to play ps3 games on a handheld at a cost that is you know, really cheap that's the thing a lot of people assuming that valve can keep up keep up with getting the hardware out there will actually be able to you know afford one so that is the thing right there but yeah our pcs3 is testing out you know games on either a steam deck or a steam deck like pc performance seems very good so far i'm looking forward to playing games like kills on 2 kills on 3 you know resistance games oh my god i'm so looking forward to playing them the motorstorm games a little bit planet so yeah 
and it's going to be amazing if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group to the link in the description this was just a bit of news if you like the video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye bye